So in the previous video, we set up a chat service to access ChatGPT and return responses. In this video, we want to take it to the next level and have the responses stream in. So I've set up a basic UI with a form that you can use to post questions. And right now it doesn't have any previous chat context or history. You just ask them one question and get them one answer. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go in and generate some models. So we're going to generate a conversation, which will belong to a user. And then we're going to generate a message. A message is going to belong to a conversation. And it's going to have a role, which will be text. And it's going to have content of type text as well. Now we'll run the migrations. And then we can open our conversation model and we can say has many messages. And we'll open the message bundle as well. So it belongs to a conversation, which is fine. And we can go to the pages controller for the home page and make sure we have a conversation. So we'll say conversation equals current user conversations. Dot first or create and then if we go to user model we can say has many conversations and then if we go back and reload the home page we should now have a conversation so if we go to the form and we'll find the form in our home page and we can come in and put in a hidden field so we'll say after a hidden field conversation ID and we'll just use at conversation.id and if we reload this we get we need to go in and do value here so now if we inspect this the conversation ID should be just above the form so we've got value one, conversation ID. So now when we go to our chats controller, we want to also permit conversation ID. And then we can load up our conversation. And we can say current.user.conversations.find chat params conversation ID. And then what we want to do is create a new message. So we can say conversation.messages.create. And we'll give it the role of user and the content of the message content. And then we'll have a message model, which we can pass into our chat service and hit save and now we can go back to the chat service and instead of message being the text that was entered message is going to be a message model and a conversation so we can also let this take a conversation and we'll set that up as an instance variable And now we can basically loop over all the messages in the conversation. And in here we're going to have message.role and message.content. And we've got training prompts already being added ahead of the actual saved messages. So um, 
we can then create a new message when the response comes back. So instead of returning the response, we'll say conversation messages create and we can give that a rule of assistant and content of this content here and we can just return true whenever that completes so if we go back to chats controller then we're no longer getting a response from the service we're just going to have service.call and we can just make that into a single line here and we're no longer going to want to respond with anything from turbo itself so we can just say render head uh okay i think our render head no content and now we can go to our message and inside the message we can paste in some turbo broadcast hooks here so whenever the message model is created we'll broadcast create it and that will go to the conversation um, in the page and render a message partial and um, whenever it's updated it'll look inside the conversation for a message with a certain id and update that content so we'll hit save here go back to our home page and instead of div id messages we'll have div id conversation and put in the conversation id here and hopefully if we go here and reload and ask a question oh and i forgot to pass the conversation through to the chat service so chat service is expecting a conversation as well so if we go to chats controller and pass in the conversation um we can take this and just make it a normal variable and we'll save that Um, I think we need to change this to be like head no content. So that's working in the background, but we're not connected to the WebSocket yet. So we need to go back to our home page and just for this conversations we need to add in the turbo stream from tag we want to stream from conversation model we do actually want to change this back to just messages and hit save and we'll reload again hit post and so we get some responses coming in but the template is not set up properly so if we go back to our message template instead of response what we want to do is say message.content and we'll save that post again how fast is ship travel and we get the response from chat GPT. so that is working it's not quite streaming in the content yet um the first thing we'll do is just style these messages so we know which ones we typed and which ones are coming from ChatGPT. So for this, what we're gonna do is make our own messages in a blue color and keep these ones in the gray. So if we go back into message, and then what we can do is just add some basic styles in here. So we can say message.role equals user, then do one set of styles else do another so 
if it's user, what we're going to do is add a margin left of 10. And if it's from the agent, we'll add a margin right of 10. The next thing that we're going to do is background is gray for the agents ones. And we'll say text gray 700. And for our own messages, we'll say background is blue and text is white. So now if we come back and try this again, and you'll see our messages are highlighted in blue and the responses from ChatGPT are in gray. So next we'll take a look at the streaming part of this. So what we'll do is go into our chat service and instead of creating the message at the bottom, what we'll do is create our new message just before we send the request off to ChatGPT. And we'll say, this is the new message. And so it'll be role of assistant and content will just be empty. And then what we'll do is come in here and we can say stream. And with this stream, we can pass a prop and this will get called as content comes in. So the first thing that we can do here is pull the text out of the response. If the text is present, we can take our new message and append the content and see if the message, so we can hit see if the next thing we need to do is in our message template, we need to add an ID here. So we need this to be ID of message and then message.id and hit save and now if we go back and do this again and reload we get the initial message and as you can see the responses now stream in And that's how we do streaming in ChatGPT. So with Turbo, it's actually extremely easy and you can see it feels a lot more snappy in the interface when the text streams in rather than waiting for the full response to come through. So I hope you found that interesting and if you want to see more ChatGPT content and how to integrate it in your Reels app, let me know in the comments.